Hi, Ann Griffin here in Greenville, North Carolina. One of our questions that came in this month was from Jennifer in Alaska, and we appreciate all the questions that came in, but Jennifer, let me read yours for, the, for everybody who's watching. Can you tell me what you know about secure emails and how dental practices should be using them to follow HIPAA? Can you share any resources or literature that you would go to for information on this? And I would say, Jennifer, what a pertinent question. Absolutely, the regulations now under HIPAA and also under the payment card industry are very stringent. And dentists are ultimately responsible for everything that goes on in their office. If you are a covered practice, so let me def uh, define for you the word covered. It means if you store, transmit any patient data electronically, even store it on your in-office computer, on any kind of mobile device. If you file a third-party claim, you, then you are a covered practice, and you must abide by the HIPAA regulations particularly. And the HIPAA reg regulations include a risk analysis and a security management process, and you dentists are responsible for the, both. The risk analysis includes things like privacy in the office, privacy through electronic, communication, privacy through any kind of communication, and then the uh, management process, the security management process, it has to do with how you will handle the risk and guarantee your patient's uh, privacy. I would recommend that you go to, to uh, one of two different sources. The ADA has a complete HIPAA compliance kit, and it can be ordered by members at ada.org slash HIPAA or by phone at 1-800-947-4746. And then the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has HIPAA security tools as well. Their address is so long I won't try to give it to you. It'll be there on the screen. And if you would like an overview of what Jennifer and I are talking about here, go back to the archived blogs that are on the Practicum website. My blogs for October 2014 have three good blogs. I'll read you the titles right quickly. Uh, look for how recent regulations affect electronic storage of patient data and use of patients credit and debit cards for payment of fees. And then also look for patient information stored on mobile devices and also an, a blog on stolen mobile devices and what to do in case of those. And as I said, those three are in Practicon's blog. So thank you for asking. Keep the questions coming.